Welcome to Resident Evil Director's Cut. Which is to say, you know, the original Resident Evil. This is Director's Cut. This game is very silly. Just brace for that. It's campy as heck. Also, based on the pop-up you saw earlier. Yeah, I'm not playing this on original hardware. I do, uh, like, the version of this game that I'm playing, I do own legally. It's on my PS3. My PS3 is just hiding in a drawer. I could whip it out and play through that, but... This is a modded version of it. Like, yeah, I, I, I have, I have this version of the game on PS3, but this is a modded version of that version. So we're, we've got a few bonuses that we would not have if I was playing this on my PS3. First of all, uh, we've got the original soundtrack rather than the director's cut DualShock version soundtrack which is a big improvement honestly the DualShock version soundtrack has the infamous basement theme and we're not going to hear that because it's bad now something else that we've got going for us is uh when they released the original version of Resident Evil on PS1, they had censored versions of its FMV cutscenes because they were just too violent back then. And yeah, that was a thing. And then the director's cut was supposed to have uncensored cutscenes because that was the whole point of it being the director's cut is it was going to have the full content but they made a mistake and forgot to actually put the full uncensored FMVs on the disc when they printed it oops But then, they released a third version of the game, the Director's Cut DualShock version, which just gave it support for analog sticks. And, yeah, you would think that they would have fixed their mistake and put the actual uncensored scenes in, right? Yeah, they didn't. So, basically... Across the three unique releases of Resident Evil 1, the original, this game, across the three releases, they never actually put the uncensored cutscenes in any released version of the game. But this modded version of the game has them. So, yeah, we've got that. Uh, we've got... The fact that this is being played on non-original hardware, letting us output at a higher resolution, which, yeah, it's not going to help the textures at all, but it'll at least help the 3D models. So, yeah. That's what we've got going on. Yeah. 
and in about 10 seconds, it'll be time to actually start this up. Now, I'm not going to be doing this playthrough as Chris, but I feel like I owe it to you folks to have the line that I have in the pinned comment actually be heard. So we're going to start up as Chris, and then I'm going to reset the system to uh, go actually play as Jill. July 1998, Raccoon Forest. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle Chris, of our mission. You haven't found it? No, I haven't found it yet. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about 10 people victims were apparently eaten. Bravo team went to the hideout of the group and disappeared. Look, Chris! Also, this FMV was in black and white in the original. It was Bravo team's helicopter. Nobody was in it, but strangely, most of the equipment was still there. However, we soon discovered why. three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Jill, and myself. We don't know where Barry is. Oh yeah, time for the cast. Chris Redfield. have escaped into the mansion where they thought it was safe yet I don't know what happened Barry where's Barry well I'm sorry but he's probably 
There was the line. No. What is that? I'll go and check. Okay, Jill and I will stay in the hall in case of an emergency. Chris? Take care. All right. So yeah. Resetting. We're going to play as Jill. Plus, this way we get to hear the lovely PlayStation 1 startup jingle. Yeah, you better look out, people. This game contains scenes of explicit violence and gore. Why did I click load? Probably because it's not the first time I've launched this. That would be why. Need a new game. What is this? Wow, what a mansion! Captain Wesker, where's Chris? Stop it! Don't open that door! But Chris is... What is it? Maybe it's Chris. Now, Jill. Can you go? I'm going with you. Chris is our old partner, you know. Okay, let me handle this. Stay alert! All right, stay alert, people. Dining room. What? What is this? What is it? Blood. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Hope this is not Chris's blood. I I love how awkward the writing in this game is. Also, this game's got pre-rendered backgrounds. There's no way a console would ever be able to replicate the level of detail in these environments. You j it just couldn't be done. I mean, look at this. We've got, like, this filigree on the wall... It's just, yeah, no way could a console ever replicate this. Not in real time. Oh, no. Anyway. Time to let Barry handle it. Barry? What is it? Watch out! It's a monster! Let 
Too. Maybe by this creature. Anyway, let's report this to Wesker. Wesker! Help me look for him, Jill, and don't leave this hall for the time being. All right, let's help him look for Wesker. Did we help? Find anything, Jill? Nothing. What is this all about? I can't figure it out at all. Beats me, too. Now it's Wesker's time to disappear. I don't know what's going on. Well, it can't be helped. Let's search for him separately. I'll check the dining room again. Okay. I'll try the door on the opposite side. This mansion is gigantic. We could get into trouble if we get lost. We should start from the first floor, okay? And... Jill, here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. Thanks. Maybe I'll need it. Listen, if something happens, let's meet up in this hall. But only if this time happens. I'll be there. What do you mean this time I'll be there? When was last time when you weren't here? Time for a fun little optional scene. Yeah, let's go ahead and not open that. But maybe. Oh, no, it's too dangerous to go outside. right there's no quick turn in this game you just gotta turn like this very slowly if you want to turn around we should equip a gun and then i need to remember that in this game it's triangle to exit the menu not circle this zombie is very much alive in fact i should equip a knife and see if maybe i can do anything to him and I believe this is just an ink ribbon over here. It sure is. Let's leave it for now. We don't have any saving to do. let him bite my ankle and get an instant kill on him. But if I did that, then I would lose health for having my ankle bit.
Having played more modern Resident Evil games, the controls on this one feel so weird. Like, square is the dash button instead of X. Triangle is the cancel button instead of circle. Um... Yeah, that, that, that's mostly it, but... Those two things are not insignificant. Uh, here's the one that we can push. Is there nothing? Oh. Didn't expect you so early. Hey. Hey. Could have sworn they would wait until later. But then again, no, the reason they did the crack first before having them jump through in the GameCube version was specifically to bait and switch people who were used to this version. Is that muddy water? Looks more green than anything. Nothing useful. Something useful here, though. So, worth noting, my experience with this version of this game is limited to some of the DS release. Never played all the way through original Resident Evil. Just pressing the wrong button to try and investigate. A tapestry. Nothing unusual. Are you ready to be a Jill sandwich? Alright, Barry, anytime. Whenever you're ready, Barry. Hey, what's going on? Jill? Is that you, Jill? What happened? Barry? Help me, please. The door won't open. Quick! Stay away from the door, Jill. I'm gonna kick this door down. Hurry! This way! It doesn't look very hurried. Oh, Barry! That was too close. You were almost a Jill sandwich. <laughs> You're right. Barry, thanks for saving my life. But, Barry, didn't you say you were going back to the dining room to do some research? Why on earth are you here? Uh, I just had something I wanted to check. Now, let's get back to searching for the lost captain and Chris, shall we? Thank you, Barry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 
I need to remember that X is not my dash button. All oh, right, the crows. They attack you if you get this puzzle wrong. The picture is entitled The End of Life. There's a switch below. Oh, no, you gotta push the switches in order. Bold-looking old man. We gotta go from start to finish here. Lively boy. Infant sounds like the thing to press first, but let's make certain, young man. Newborn baby. Oh, that's earlier than infant. Tired middle-aged man. Cradle to grave. So, newborn baby. No, we don't want young man. We want infant. Where's infant? this a lively boy i believe young man comes next but i don't remember what all the things were no we don't need tired middle-aged man okay so young man is next So we need young man, middle-aged man, and old man. Which one did I just press? Middle-aged man? We did it. Also, we're in danger. That music was very ominous for all of the nothing that was happening. Hey, no, rude, stop. Hey, no, rude, stop. Hey, no, rude, stop. see whether or not he's got a blood pool under him. I'm not... Ah. Wow, really? The... 
The change in camera angle kept me from attacking him. Okay, now he's dead for real. And I am almost dead for real myself. I not just go straight? I guess I can't go straight to the box. I have to select an empty splot. Splot? Empty slot here. Well, we don't need this star crest just yet, so we'll put it in. Can we combine these? We can. Don't like walking around at danger, but it's what we get to do. Honestly, I don't think I'm going to end up finishing this game on stream. It's a fun distraction, but it's very aged. And with that in mind, we might as well take some heads. Oh, cool. We got barfed on. Well, back to the start of the game we go, I guess. Hmm. was considering starting up a different game. One of the other three that, or one of the other two that I mentioned that this stream could have ended up being. But then figured, nah, best save those for their own streams. What is this? Wow, what a mansion! Captain Wesker, where's Chris? Shame I can't skip this. Stop it! Don't open that door! But Chris is... What is it? Maybe it's Chris. Now, Jill. Can you go? I'm going with you. Chris is our old partner, you know. Okay, let me handle this. Stay alert! Fun fact, the live-action performers they got Diving for room. the intro cutscene here in this game were basically the first, like, six English-speaking people they could find on the street. What? What is this? There's a lot of things that contributed to this game's campiness. What is it? Blood. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Hope this is not Chris's blood. 
I too hope this is not Chris's blood. For the record, Barry is the most quotable character in the game. I wonder. Yeah, we can't get to any of the other places here. Okay, so we need the lockpick to open that. We don't have it yet, because Barry hasn't deemed us the master of unlocking. Barry? What is it? Watch out! It's a monster! Let me take care of this. What is it? Kenneth was killed too. Maybe by this creature. Anyway, let's report this to Wesker. Now it's Wesker's time to disappear. Wesker! Help me look for him, Jill. And don't leave this hall for the time being. Find anything, Jill? Nothing. What is this all about? I can't figure it out at all. Beats me, too. Now it's Wesker's time to disappear. I don't know what's going on. Well, it can't be helped. Let's search for him separately. I'll check the dining room again. Okay. I'll try the door on the opposite side. This mansion is gigantic. We could get into trouble if we get lost. We should start from the first floor, okay? And... Jill, here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. Thanks. Maybe I'll need it. Alright, bye, Barry. Listen, if something happens... Let's meet up in this hall. This time, I'll be there. So if we try to go in the kitchen, or not the kitchen, the dining room right now, it'll let us, okay. For some reason, my brain was telling me that it would say, Oh no, Barry's already here. You gotta go the other way, but no. Can't push it yet. Oh well. Kenneth from the Stars Bravo team. Now he's become a mere shadow of his former self. Yeah, being dead will do that to a guy. I mean, he's not using them. see what's in here. Ah yes, the piano room.
Jill, you look like you were about to shove it, and then you decided not to. What's the deal? J Jill? Please shove it? Is that as far as it goes? Do I need to shove it the other way? Aha. Oh, we don't even have to open it? Okay. Can I not play the Moonlight Sonata? Oh, I see. Okay, we need to go get the crest from outside. Or sorry, the emblem. It's amazing how much shallower this puzzle is in the original release than the remake. Honestly, Resident Evil 1 Remake is quite possibly the best remake of all time. shield. Looked like the design of the helmet key in Remake.
So there's our map. As you can see, this mansion is not as big as it is in Remake. Only one hit from the dog this time. doing much better than we were last time. No reason not to get the shotgun. looking around making sure there's nothing hiding. Okay. Time to almost become a sandwich again. Barry, anytime. Hey, what's going on? Jill? Is that you, Jill? What happened? Barry, help me, please. The door won't open. Quick! Stay away from the door, Jill. I'm gonna kick this door down. Hurry! This way! You know, because there's so many other ways we could have gone. Oh, Barry! That was too close. You were almost a Jill sandwich. <laughs> You're right. Barry, thanks for saving my life. But, Barry... Didn't you say you're going back to the dining room to do some research? Why on earth are you here? Uh, I just had something I wanted to check. Now, let's get back to searching for the lost captain and Chris, shall we? Besides, Jill, you don't have a foot to stand on. We went to the dining room first. Thank you, Barry. Yeah, yeah. All right, this time we're not going to be bitten a million times by the zombies in here. We don't need the star crest just yet, so it can wait. All right, he's dead for good without having bitten us this time. Hmm. 
This time I'm going to do what I usually do in this game. Get rid of my dang knife. I'm also going to do another thing that's helpful to do. Because you can reload with an animation or you can reload for free in the menu. Did he just moan twice at once? Sounded like it. I meant to combine, not check. Again, I meant to combine, not check. Or rather, to combin. You gotta make sure to combin your stuff. Wow, we really need the armor key to get basically anywhere, huh? It's not for now. I'll take it if I don't find anything else. All right, I didn't find anything else. Let's grab that herb. Let's actually go put our spare herb in the item box. Actually, we can put both of them in. Because we're fine right now. And we've got a first aid spray. chemical for a bit, at least until we get another key. Something is written on the wall. I can't breathe. Save me from this pain. Nothing uncommon. Yeah. 
botany book about medicinal herbs. As you may know, there are many plants that have med medical effects. Since ancient times, humans have been healing wounds and diseases using various plants. In this book, we're going to sample three herbs that grow around the Raccoon Mountains and give their outlines as examples of those plants with medical properties. Each herb has different colors and different effects as medical plants. The green one recovers physical strength. The blue one neutralizes natural toxins, while the red herb does not have any effect by itself. The red herb is only effective when it is mixed with other herbs. For example, if you mix this herb with the herb that recovers physical strength, the recovery effect will be tripled. By adjusting the amount and experimenting with these three herbs, you can create various kinds of medicines, but I'll leave the details in your hands, because that's the best way to acquire true knowledge, and that's exactly what people come to books for. Wow, is, is this whole room just for that? Just to say, hey, you can combine herbs? Back in my day, this is where Jill got her lighter. Then again, my day was many years in the future from this day. Wow, we really need the armor key. Okay, he's dead for reals. Armor key again. What, is the armor key just for the whole dang house? Why do I even have a shield key? Jill, what's going on? Any clues? No, but something's wrong with this house. Whoa, this hall is dangerous. Maybe it's better to secure our escape route first. There must be a back door somewhere. Let's try to find it first, shall we? Okay, let's separate again. Just a moment. I found something. What is it? It's a weapon. It's really powerful, especially against living things. Better take it with you. But how about you, Barry? I have this. Thank you. I'll take this then. I love how campy the writing is. Also, yeah, it's really powerful, especially against living things which most of the enemies in this game aren't. Also, this hall's dangerous. Except enemies literally never spawn here. I hope this blood isn't from my teammates. I'll just take that if you don't mind. Wow, really? They called it a bazooka in this game? It's Forrest! He's been pecked to death by crows! And now they're coming to do me! Oh man, I should've come back here when we had Barry with us later. Missed out on a great barryism. I'm gonna find out what caused Forrest's death. 
It looks like he was killed by a crow or something. Okay, no door over here in this version. So, uh... Either the helmet key is used through here, or it just sits... Or not helmet, the shield key. Either it's used through here, or it just sits in my inventory forever. Oh, hey, buddy. Can you not... Sucks to be that statue. Is there really only one door over here? There's really only one door over here. Remake added so much to this game. It's unbelievable. Hey, fellas. forever. Do you take my shield key? Do you take my shield key? Wow, you're not even gonna let us guess? Thanks, game. now, though. You can tell because the auto-aim will point you towards enemies who are still alive. Vitamins and serums. And a typewriter with an ink ribbon. Hooray! I think now is a decent enough time to toss a save. find a use for you, Shield Key. I believe in you. Only killing enemies in here because we're coming back here a lot. Okay, he's dead. Pistol, ammo, handgun ammo, bullets, whatever. Nine millimeter rounds. You know, there's enough space here I could have given him to run around. way so we can open this up
could have sworn you could check him for something more than just two magazines. But I guess I was wrong. Tell us through here. Oh, we needed this. Diary. May 9th, 1998. At night, we played poker with... S uh, I guess poker is a proper noun now. We played poker with Scott and the guard. Uh, Scott the guard. Alias and Steve the researcher. Who, who's Alias? What's Alias's job? Steve was really lucky, but I think he was cheating. What a scumbag. May 10th, 1998. Today, a high-ranking researcher asked me to take care of a new monster. It looks like a gorilla without any skin. They told me to feed them live food. When I threw in a pig, they were playing with it, tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before they actually ate it. May 11th, 1998. Around 5 o'clock this morning, Scott came in and woke me up suddenly. He was wearing a protection suit that looks like a space suit. He told me to put one on as well. I heard there was an accident in the basement lab. It's no wonder those researchers never rest, even at night. May 12th. I've been wearing this annoying spacesuit since yesterday. My skin grows musty and feels very itchy. By way of revenge, I didn't feed those dogs today. Now I feel better. May 13th. I went to my med to the medical room because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on my back and the doctor told me I did not need to wear the spacesuit anymore. I guess I can sleep well tonight. May 14th. When I woke up this morning, I found another blister on my foot. It was annoying, and I ended up dragging my foot as I went to the dog's pen. They've been quiet since morning, which is unusual. Very unusual. I found that some of them had escaped. I'll be in real trouble if the higher-ups find out. May 15th. Even though I didn't feel well, I decided to go see Nancy. It's my first day off in a long time, but I was stopped by the guard on the way out. They say the company has ordered that no one leave the grounds. I can't even make a phone call. What kind of joke is this? May 16th. I heard a researcher who tried to escape from this mansion was shot last night. My entire body feels burning and itchy at night. When I was scratching the swelling on my arm, a lump of rotten flesh dropped off. What the hell is happening to me? May 19th. Fever gone but itchy. Hungry and eat doggy food. Itchy Itchy Scott came. Ugly face, so killed him. Tasty. Four. Itchy. Tasty. You see, I this is another part that the remake improved. Because the remake, it was four slash slash itchy tasty. Which just makes it so much better. Anyway, let's get some shotgun shells here. That, what, four or five bullets shooting that guy to get seven shotgun shells? Not bad. A solid trade. So I'm running low on space. To wit, I am out of space. Uh, 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 yeah. 
is not dead. Now he is. Some tigers have a red eye and a blue eye. Well, here's a blue eye, Mr. Tiger. remake that said something a little more cryptic. Just a little. It was like tiger glowing with blue and yellow light. But now this one, just some tigers have a red eye and a blue eye. Let's go get this crest dropped in the item box so that we don't have to worry about it right now. And we could probably also stand to drop our bazooka. I guess grenade launcher wouldn't fit, but like... It is very weird seeing it called bazooka. Like, even just the term bazooka is like, never used these days. I don't recall having ever seen the word bazooka used in, like, any game from the N64 era onward. Oh, we need our chemical in here. Well, let's go grab it. Also, for reals, are we actually going to get another key before we find a use for our shield key? Here, have some chemical. Thankfully, you don't gotta worry about accidentally killing the herbs in this game. I'm guessing that's our armor key, by the look of it. Yep. Finally, we can actually explore. Oh, green and red herbs. But I don't have the space to really do anything with them. But we know they're here. They're not going to stop being here. So 
So with our armor key, we can go basically everywhere because we didn't find pretty much any doors that were locked with anything other than the armor key. armor key. Hey look, a broken shotgun. We don't need it though. We had Barry. Desk is locked. Why would I not use the lockpick? Is there any world in which using or in which not using the lockpick is a thing you would do? Why do you have to give me the prompt? Just do it. helmet. Not going in there yet, though. Okay, so this one, we need to cover this vent. this button. Wait, no, there's another vent. Let's not press the button before we cover both vents. Memory serves. Not covering the vents leads to the room filling with poison gas when you press the button.
can actually put these away for now. Okay, so... I think with our armor key, we can get into both of the other doors nearby. So let's give it a shot. Oh, nope, that one's helmet. Well, we can still make it so that we came here for a reason. Give me that newborn baby. And give me that toddler. Or infant. Give me that young boy. Lively boy. Sorry, whatever. And young man. And middle-aged man. And old man. And end of life. So we've got star, sun, and wind. I think we're missing moon? Either way, we're not missing much in the way of crests. I'm gonna go put this one away, though. Let's go check out the other room that we can get to from here without going through the dog hall. So much for that dog. Did I just... I guess I killed the dog to get access to six green herbs, by the look of things. I mean, that's not the worst. And we know they're here. Oh, there's another dog. Didn't need them just yet, though. So we can go back upstairs, around to the foyer, then downstairs. 
to get to that last set of rooms. Or we can brave the dog hole and basically get straight there. I think let's brave the dog hole. And if I kill the dogs, then I can push the stuff and see if maybe there's anything to be had. I didn't have to reload to get them, so we are bullet positive, if not health positive. But we're at yellow fine, so could certainly do worse. Get the ink ribbons from in here. No reason I'll leave them here now. As long as we don't actually try and walk over that guy, he never wakes up. It's actually kind of amazing coming from the remake, seeing how little there really is in this version of this game. Oops. I was trying to see if we could investigate the light switch. things. Oh. I hear you, Zambi. He's not dead yet. Now he is. Again, in what world would I say no? Would you like to have shotgun shells instead of an empty inventory space for free? Seriously, in what universe do I say no? The universe in which I'm thinking, hey, I might pick up something useful in the next room, and I don't want to be out of space for it. Oh no, a crawly zombie. Yeah, sure. Nothing special on one side, nothing major on the other. And that's the dressing room, and we don't have the key for it. So... There's nowhere else we can get on the first floor. And on the second floor, there's... 
two doors that we can go through that we haven't yet. Um, why'd you suddenly reconfigure my controller? It's been plugged in this whole time. Before we go into this room up here that we've unlocked, I'm going to visit an item box and grab some things. Because I think we actually might be about to fight Yawn. Hey, Kratos, uh, we didn't get any Jill sandwiches, but we had them mentioned twice. So... If we are about to fight Yawn, I'm not gonna need this so much. I am going to want this. And maybe also these. Now we'll save. Our second save. Slap those. No, we can't combine them because that's not how it works. Okay. Uh, whatever. And let's actually combine these. Can I not? I guess I cannot. Why can I not combine the acid rounds? Uh, actually, hang on. Use? Nope. I guess I can't put the acid rounds into my bazooka until we empty it. Oh well. Actually, wait. The door over here needed the armor key, right? But what did this door need? The armor key. Ooh, I don't need the armor key anymore. Yay! Seems someone has searched here already. There appears to be a switch. Will I push it? Uh, not right now. It's too heavy to move. Researchers will. My dear Alma, 
The fact that you have received this letter is both a joy and a sadness for me. I could not even talk to you because of the, that guy in the sunglasses. Alma, be calm and read this. I think I've told you that I moved to a pharmaceutical company's lab. They headhunted me. Last month, there was an accident in the lab and the virus we were studying escaped. All my colleagues who were infected by the virus are dead. To be accurate, they've become the living dead. They still wander around. Some of them are knocking on my room door desperately right now, but there's no sign of intelligence in their eyes. That cursed virus takes away all humanity from the human brain. Love, joy, sorrow, fear, humor, eternally. And Alma, even the memories of the days I spent with you. Yes, I'm infected. I did everything I could, but I could only delay the progress by a few days. The most frightening thing is that I forget more about you by the day. So I chose a peaceful death rather than becoming the living dead. Within an hour, I will have entered my eternal sleep. I do hope you'll understand my decision. Goodbye and forever yours, Martin Crackhorn. very far, did it? There's definitely a thing behind it, though. Dang it, I was hoping we would use our shield key here. should remember that it's here. Alright, let's go press this switch over here. Unless... Oh yeah, we need this out of the way in order to move this shelf out of the way where we need it. Ah yes, the good old fish tank drain switch. Full, but we've got a thing to do here. Like, make sure this door is locked to us. Helmet. Helmet. And now we have a second floor map. Okay. 
so we currently only have access to one of the doors that we haven't gone through yet. I'm going to go deposit some stuff. And then we'll go through that door. To the place where in the GameCube game we fought Yawn. And we might do so here as well. I don't know off the top of my head. is not run in this game. Richard? Richard! What happened? Oh, Jill. This house is dangerous. There are terrible demons. Ouch! You're wounded. What kind of demon attacked you? It was a huge snake. And also poisonous. Ugh. Poisonous? Richard, hold on. There is serum. Oh no, I should have brought some with me. No problem. I'll go and get it. Thanks. All right, time to go get the serum. For the worst actor in the game. Yeah, I know where it is. I've been there. Thankfully, I've gotten rid of all the enemies between us and where we're going. I mean, we would have had to go around one if I took the upstairs path, but... That's neither here nor there. I'm pretty sure both paths are about the same speed. Now to go help our pal Richard. Thank you. 
I hope I find a use for this shield key soon. It's been in our inventory way too long. It's never had a use yet. Richard, I got the serum for you. Here's the serum. Richard, hold on. I'll give you a shot now. Jill, here's my radio. You should keep it. I'm... No! Richard! Jill, be careful. Uh... uh... Was I too slow, or...? Did I bring this serum for no reason? I'm sorry, Richard. Hello, handprint. Oh, hi. Still yellow, fine. Oh, do I need to bring the lighter? I need to bring the lighter. I'm just going to see if we can unlock this. Oh, thank goodness. Feels so good. Used for one door in the game, and it's behind a key that you get, or that you can get after the shield key. Well, Richard's still there, so I guess maybe he's not dead. And I might as well use one of these. Just so that we're better than yellow fine. Getting the lighter before we fight Yawn. simply because I don't want to not have whatever is gettable.
Who moved the sh the cabinet back? There, now it's bright enough. Okay. Not right now. But good to remember that that's there. All right, yawn time, if I'm not mistaken. Definitely. Dang it. fight this without getting well you know what honestly I'm fine with that my only issue is that our save was so long ago I should have saved again when we were on our final approach to yawn but either way this was mostly just a fun little diversion for a quickish stream today. I don't think I'm going to be picking it back up for future streams. Just, eh. It's fun to check out the classic every once in a while, but this is not the Resident Evil that I grew up with myself. And it's, it's showing its age. A fun diversion. Well, that's all we really needed it to be. Anyway, that's it for this stream. Thanks for watching. And I will see you folks in the next stream where we will be playing a more recent Resident Evil game. See you then, friends.